So my friends, this is Faux Fum here, and I'm just going to show you the basics of really a submarine, and, but in this case a submarine box. Okay, so what you need is a airtight space, so in this case I'm going to change the view here so you can see. I just have a big wooden box. It floats, it works fine, but inside here we have the space. Okay, perfect, right? As we go down, we check out the bottom. I just put a bunch of lead here, just to weigh it down. And uh, let's see, this is with the buoyancy activated here, with the air pump. So you place the air pump in this airtight space and seals it off, and all this air, the volume here, will allow your submarine, your boat, your box, whatever it is, to float. So say when I turn the buoyancy, off, so it's no longer, say, harnessing air, this should just start sinking, as you see, literally just sinks, and that's how you make the basic submarine. Let's turn this back on, it may take a bit, but it should in fact start floating up at the point. See, I made this a simple, simple video, just to show the very basics of how the submarine will work. So, basic again, airtight space, you need this air pump, and uh, you need to have weights that can weigh your whole ship down, but make sure that your ship, your sub, can actually stay afloat enough while the air pump is active, but when you do turn it off, that it sinks. Now, yes, I made this again simply because nobody else, seemingly nobody else has made a single video of a how-to to actually do this. And it is very frustrating. I spent, you know, a good hour, hour and a half scouring around trying to find something that would actually show me and tell me how. But I just kind of figured it out on my own. And yeah, and that's just a bit of this video. I'll come back with another one showing you, uh, I guess, more of an advanced sub and compartments and how this, let's see here, how this automated control block works. And that'll be for the next video. See you guys soon.